Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to take some time and discuss investing in a Roth IRA within the Roth IRA. The Roth IRA guys is one of the best ways to invest your money tax free. Now remember IRA stands for individual retirement account, okay? Emphasis on the retirement part. Now in order to invest in a Roth IRA, you must have some sort of earned income. In other words, you must have income coming from a job. So basically a Roth IRA is a tax advantage account where you can invest after tax dollars as in your take home pay into the market. Guys, you can also open one up for your kids if they have a job. So if you have a child that's let's say 16 and has a part-time job, take some of that money and start a Roth IRA for them. They will thank you later, okay? Now, it really doesn't matter how much you start a Roth IRA with. You can start with as small as $5, $10, $20, guys. The point is, this is a great account for you to get started to save some money towards retirement. Now, most of the retirement accounts, whether it be a 4 or 3B, 457, a um, 401k, traditional IRA, including the Roth IRA here. You cannot touch these accounts, guys, until the magic age of 59 and a half. However, if something should happen where you need to access the money prior to age 59 and a half, you can definitely access your capital, your initial investment, without incurring any fees, penalties, or taxes. Just make sure the money has been in there for at least five years. Now, when it comes to these Roth IRAs, guys, they have contribution limits. The maximum contribution per year in a Roth IRA is $6,000. Now, once you turn over, once you turn 50, if you're over age 50, you can add an additional $1,000, guys, to the max you can contribute after age 50, $7,000. Additionally, guys, if you have a spouse, okay, and your spouse is not working for one reason or another, you can start a Roth IRA on their behalf as well. So again, if your spouse is under age 50, $6,000 can be put away for your spouse. Over age 50, $7,000 can be allocated into the Roth IRA for your spouse. Now, in order to start one of these Roth IRA accounts, guys, you first must choose the platform you would like to have this Roth IRA in. Now, you could choose one of the legacy platforms like Fidelity, Schwab, TD Ameritrade, or the father of indexing, Vanguard, guys. Now, it's up to you which one you choose. It really doesn't matter. My personal favorite is Fidelity. Now, if you're comfortable with doing all of this on your cellular device, your cell phone, okay, you can choose to download an app and use the app, guys, to invest in a Roth IRA. Apps such as Betterment, Stash, I didn't include Acorns on here. Acorns is another one. Webull is another one. Wealthfront is another one. Guys, essentially, you can have your Roth IRA inside an app. Now, the way the apps work is that there's a robo type of investing happening with the apps. So essentially, you answer several questions about your investing habits, and based on your responses, it will determine what type of an investor you are. Whether you're aggressive, you're an aggressive investor, very aggressive, or maybe you're a moderate investor. So based on that, it will put you into some funds, some funds within the IRA. Now, if you're not comfortable with the way your account is being allocated, you can always choose to change it or adjust it later on. If you, want it to, if you don't wanna take that much risk, okay? Yes, you can definitely choose that option. Guys, a Roth IRA is one of the best ways to grow your wealth. And the best thing is, 
if you start these earlier on when your tax bracket is really, really low, guys, allow that money to grow tax free. That is so beneficial to you. Your future self will thank you. All right. So number one, you choose the platform. Number two, you have to set up the account. You need to connect the account to your bank account so you can automatically transfer money from your bank account, guys. Preferably, I would do it every time I get paid. But if you cannot do that, guys, you choose how frequently you want to transfer money into the account. You can do it every week, every month, every quarter, three months, every six months, okay? Or perhaps every single year. You control how frequently you want money transferred into the account. And guys, you can turn off the automatic transfers whenever you want to, okay? So let's say things aren't doing well and you might need to pause on your contributions. Sure, you can definitely turn it off and then you can go back and turn it on. Now, Fidelity, guys, has the option of investing in partial shares. Originally, it was you can only invest in partial shares on the app. But nowadays on Fidelity, not only can you invest in partial shares on the app, you can also invest on partial shares directly on the desktop version, guys. Now, what do you purchase? Step three, you need to go inside your Roth IRA to start buying inside the Roth IRA. So in other words, guys, you cannot just have your money sitting inside the Roth IRA and not invest it. You actually have to go into the account and invest it. By the way, you can set it up to automatically invest in specific companies like these um, index funds, ETFs, or mutual funds like Vanguard, S&P 500, VU, um, S&P 500, okay? The SPY, VT Saps, which is a mutual fund, okay? By Vanguard. F Xerox is another one, but that one is by Fidelity. So within the Roth IRA, you can invest in individual stocks. You can invest in the REITs, Real Estate Investment Trust. You can invest in index funds. You can invest in ETFs, guys, within the Roth, okay? So essentially, you have options when it comes to these Roth IRA. In my Roth IRA, I'll give you some examples of companies that I have in there. I have VOO, I have SPY in there, okay? Those are index funds, ETFs, okay? I also have some REITs in there. My favorite REITs are Simon Property Group as well as um, Starwood Property Trust. I like those REITs because they pay a great dividend. Simon Property pays over $5. Uh, Starwood Resorts, Starwood Properties, pays over I'm about two dollars a share okay so guys all of that is growing all the growth is tax-free and then once I get ready to withdraw the money all of that will be tax-free of course after the magic age of 59 and a half individual stocks I have individual stocks like Palantir I do have Apple in there so guys let me tell you something my IRA is diversified. I have some individual stocks, some REITs, and some index funds inside my Roth IRA, okay? So you can do likewise, or if you want to do the lazy way, okay? We call it this lazy way. It's not really lazy, okay? All it is is this, guys. You automatically transfer the money into the account, and you automatically set it up to invest a percentage into different indexes like the VOO, um, the SPY, um, maybe ARK, ARKK, okay? So you can choose to automatically do it and just let the money ride the market. What you have to realize is that when you are investing in these accounts, guys, you wanna make sure you do your research so you know what you're investing in, especially if you have the inclination to go ahead and invest in individual stocks, buy companies you believe in and companies you will hold for at least three to five years, preferably over 10 years, guys. Because remember, this is a long-term investment towards retirement. So if you're 18 and you're just starting out, guys, oh my God, just thinking about some of you who will be watching this video and listening to this video and you're just starting out, maybe you're 18, 19, 20, and you're just starting out. And let's say you decide to go and buy 
I don't know, what's a great company, Palantir or something like that. And guys, you have essentially over 30 years, a 30 year horizon in front of you, okay guys? Imagine what kind of portfolio you will have once you get to this, to this magic age of 59 and a half, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you just thinking about it, guys, okay? As always, easiest option if you don't wanna pick individual stocks, because some of these individual st stocks, guys, you may not know much about them, best thing to do is to go ahead and buy the index funds and just let them ride the market. But you can always buy individual stocks like Apple, PayPal, Facebook, Square. Those are great companies as well, all right? Now, uh, the goal here, guys, is to buy and hold. Buy and hold. Let your money work for you while you're sleeping. Your money is working for you and you don't have to worry about it, guys. Of course, the main reason why we invest money is to let our money grow. One of the best ways for money to grow, guys, is through the power of compound interest. And the main variable that drives compound interest, guys, is time. The longer your time horizon, the more time you have for your money to compound, guys. So the earlier you start, the more you will accumulate. So, guys, just remember, time is the most precious commodity you have. So use it wisely and start investing early. So to find more videos like this, please go to Shazam Lifestyle on YouTube and check us out. Like and subscribe to the channel so you can continue receiving videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And let me tell you something. Please, if you've learned something, share this video, guys. I am on a mission to make financial literacy accessible to everybody because, of course, I wish I had this information right here when I was starting out. So, guys, please share this video and do like and subscribe to the channel. So, until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Bye.